And if you look at this, we had an incredible development, and, and it reminded me of the Titanic oh. immediately. And? I'm waiting for someone to say. Iceberg ahead. Thank oh, <laughs> I was thinking King of the World. That's the oh, that too. <laughs> that would work it with this one. Yeah, after more than 30 years stuck on the ocean floor, the largest iceberg in the world has broken free. Whoa. It's so big, it can be seen from space. Satellite images are capturing this massive 40 mile wide chunk of ice and it's drifting away from the Antarctica. It's called A23A. It's about 40 miles wide. I think the name Behemoth or Big Berg might be better yeah, that than works. A23A. But in the size here, if you want a comparison, it's three times the size of Los Angeles. Wow. Wow. Let's dig in to find out what it's all about. Woods Hole Oceanographic uh, in Oceanographic Ocean how do I say Ocean Institute? Oceanographic. There you go. Thank you. Do we get it? Oceanographic. Yes. Oceanographic. I appreciate. Oceanographic. I see it now. <laughs> Glaciologist Catherine Walker joining us right now. Why did this iceberg break free and start moving and, and how fast is it going? Yeah, that's a great question. So this iceberg um, broke off of Antarctica actually in 1986. Um, and so it's been uh, on its own uh, for about almost 40 years. Um, uh, but just now it sort of had embedded itself in the seafloor around Antarctica for those last 40 years. And suddenly in 2020, it started to wiggle free. Um, and finally it's um, gotten swept up in the currents going around Antarctica and is on its way out into the open ocean. <laughs> it's so enormous. Um, could this hurt anything or could it impact weather patterns worldwide? What can we expect it to do? Certainly. Um, so, you know, worldwide, it probably won't have, you know, gl global climate um, impacts right now um, as it on its own. Um, but certainly it could threaten places like um, the South Georgia Islands, which are uh, a string of islands um, between sort of Antarctica and South America. A couple of years ago, another giant iceberg almost crashed into one of those islands, and that can have devastating effects on, you know, uh, bird populations, um, aquatic life, um, basically the, the sort of global food chain that starts in the ocean. Um, these big icebergs release um, a giant amount of fresh water that those ecosystems are not used to seeing. And so those can greatly affect um, a lot of the food chain up, 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 the, uh, up the chain to predators, um, as it were. Um, but certainly it could have real local effects on weather like fog and enhanced clouds and things like that. Um, and, you know, if it gets through the Drake Passage, which is that thin spot between Antarctica and uh, South America, it could possibly even get up to South Africa and start making some changes there in the ocean waters. So I thought that was pretty interesting when you watch the path of this. The domino effect that you speak about is just fascinating. But if it goes that path, could it get stuck? Would it refreeze again? Uh, maybe block that passage so that everything can't get through? How would that work? Yeah, so it could certainly get caught up on the seafloor again. It, it did that for 40 years, um, and it, it is large enough. So the way I like to think about it, people sometimes have trouble, you know, thinking about the scale of these things. This iceberg is about probably like a 130-story building tall, and so it can reach the seafloor if it's shallow enough. Um, and because it can certainly get stuck um, near islands and things like that and block food, uh, food foraging areas for animals, um, really anywhere else it could get stuck that's shallow. Um, and it can certainly block passages um, that normal ocean currents go through and things like that. But it is also floating in the, um, the sort of ocean current that goes around Antarctica, and that is the strongest ocean current in the world. And usually these things get pretty torn up um, when they enter that. <laughs> well, it's it's really jaw dropping for all of us to look at. I can see that it's exciting for a scientist like yourself, a glaciologist, to be able to uh, see something like this happen. So we'll be in touch. We're going to watch the path it takes and see what turns out. Catherine Walker from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute. Thanks for joining the conversation here on Weather Command. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.